What's up you guys? So I've been getting a lot of questions from guys asking me, Hey Lloyd, what are some great opening lines to start talking to a girl with? Hey Lloyd, how do I start talking to a girl? Hey Lloyd, what do I say when I walk up and talk to a random stranger? Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be covering all of these things, which is really just one thing, and that's like how to start a conversation with a stranger, or if you enjoy the pickup terms, uh, you know that I don't like them, but uh, you could call them openers, opening lines or whatever, okay? So you see a girl, I don't know, walking down the street, you see her in line for something or, or whatever, what do you say when you first walk up? Well, it really depends on the situation, you know? That's something that you really gotta learn when you're going out and doing this and you're interacting with people, is that every situation is different. But typically, I would say, uh, for any of these uh, scenarios, I'm gonna give you like four or five different kinds of things that you can start with um, when you walk up. Now, this is something that I literally just covered in my mastermind group, which I'm giving you guys as well. And I'm also gonna be coming out with uh, a system, an approaching system, uh, which will be available. It's gonna be a lot cheaper than my regular premium programs. So if you wanna get notified about that, click the link in the description below. Uh, but to start with, we're gonna give you five things that you can start with. The first one that I would go with, and this is probably the best one, is try and pick up on some commonality that you guys have. I'll give you an example. What does that mean? You wanna start with something that you have in common so you don't seem like a complete stranger right off the bat. One time I was on, uh, I was in Venice Beach. I was about to get a hot dog. I was hungry, I don't usually eat hot dogs. But I was hungry, I wanted some food. So I walk up, there is another lady in line um, next to me or whatever, uh, behind me. So I go, I order, I get my hot dog, I'm looking at it, I'm not satisfied with what I got. So then I look at hers and her hot dog looks way better than mine. So I'm like, damn man, they gave me the, the, the fucked up hot dog. What did, you, what did you get? And she's showing me, she's like, oh, I got this. And I'm like, look at mine. Yours is like way better. So anyway, we're comparing hot dogs. We started out on the journey together to get a hot dog. And we got a hot dog. I think I might have said something in line uh, to her as well too. But I started from the standpoint of we're both getting hot dogs. It could literally be as easy as that. You know, very commonly when you're at a bar or you're at a social event where there's a lot of alcohol, some people ask like, what are you drinking? And it sounds like a really corny line, and it is, <laughs> but sometimes it works. And it's because you're starting from like a familiar place, a place something that you guys have in common. Um, sometimes you might see the ladies wearing like the sweatshirts uh, with like a school on them, like uh, like UCLA or something like that. I remember I started talking to, I've done this actually more than once, where I'll walk up and I'll be like, hey, could you go to UCLA? And she'll either say yes or no, the answer doesn't matter. And then I'll be like, oh, that's awesome. Like my buddy, um, one of my best friends went to UCLA. What are you majoring in or what did you major in? Easy way to start the conversation off from there. And guess what? We didn't really have that much in common. <laughs> I had a friend who went to UCLA. I didn't go to UCLA, um, but it's somewhere to start a conversation with. Okay, so start from something that you guys kind of have in common, if you can find it. Okay, whether it's, it can be just as simple as you are wearing the same t-shirt or something like that. Literally that simple, okay? Um, the second one that I would go for is something observational. Let's say you can't see anything that you guys have in common. Let's make an observation about her and comment on it. Okay, maybe she's got like a really, uh, really a nice a jacket with a nice material on it. You can comment on that and be like, wow, your jacket looks amazing. What is it made out of? Is it made out of pure crocodile skin? Like, you know, you just start feeling it or whatever. Um, you, uh, you can also observe maybe like her style, the way that she's walking. One time I saw the girl who looked like she was like, she went back and forth and I was just like, I just commented on the fact that she was walking. I was like, hey, I've seen you three times. What's so, what's so cool around here? Or what's so awesome around here? Basically, I was just making an observation that she was walking uh, a lot back and forth. Okay, so observations are good. If you can come up with a good one, uh, that's great. Um, the next one that you can do is like a question. You can ask them a question about, um, let's say you're, I don't know, walking around uh, looking for a coffee shop or something like that. You'd be like, hey, where's the nearest Starbucks? Do you know where the nearest Starbucks is? And she's like, oh, it's over there. And I'm like, oh, cool, do you live around here? And then she's like, oh, no, I actually just moved here. Oh, cool, I just moved here too. Where'd you move from? Now we're in a conversation, pretty simple. Um, the next one, and this is the most popular one that was in the pickup community, um, was the opinion opener. You walk up and you ask, uh, this is good for like a group of girls, I would say. 
okay? Uh, I don't really use opinion openers that much. I used to when I needed something, uh, but they usually have a pretty good reply or like, there's usually a lot more interest at the beginning from these ones. So I'll walk up and the classic one that people used to say was, hey, who do you think lies more, men or women? Or, hey, um, do you floss before or after you brush your teeth? You know, it comes up a little, either, either answer, doesn't matter, who cares? But it's interesting and fun to talk about. Uh, another thing that you can do as well too is uh, if you can get some gossip going, like people, women, everybody loves gossip. So anything about that um, would be interesting to, to, to ask about. You know, I, um, the whole Will Smith and Jada Smith thing, I don't really know much about it, but that might be something that's topical that people probably have opinions about, okay? Don't choose something that people are gonna get really offended about unless you're you just want to instigate <laughs> which can be kind of fun too uh and then the last one okay about it after opinion openers opinion openers yeah like i said good for i think maybe groups but um actually wait to see if the like with openers or with things where you're starting the conversation with sometimes the things that get the best reaction at the beginning aren't the best thing for you long term so that's why I don't. I tend to tend to not use opinion openers um, or opinion statements, questions as much as I used to. Okay, uh, and then the last one. Literally, if you cannot think of anything else, I would just walk up to her and say, "Hey, I thought you looked cool, or I thought you looked interesting, or I thought you know you seem cute. Just wanted to say hi." Or you can just literally be like, "Hey, how's it going? I'm Lloyd. No, I just saw you over there. I was walking, getting a sandwich, and I thought I'd come say hi." It's fine. Like literally, like too many guys, they stress, they, they have to have a reason. They think they're not enough. They think them, their presence, the vibe, the energy that they bring to the table is not going to be enough. Look, I know whatever I say at the end of it, I'm going to be like, well, <laughs> even if it gets kind of awkward, I'll be like, all right, well, I got to go, but it was awesome talking to you. You're awesome. Love your style. I'll give them a high five and then I walk away. And then just doing that at the end, you know, brightens up their day, makes their life better. You know, why would I not want to do that to somebody? Why would I not want to brighten up their day and make them happy? You know, yeah, sure, there might be a little bit of discomfort. There might be a little bit of awkwardness. There always is when you're talking to strangers and stuff. You don't really know the person or what they're about. It's normal. It's fine. But as long as you end with something positive and brighten their day up, I see absolutely no reason why you should be scared or ashamed to go up and talk to somebody or starting to over-rationalize about what you're going to say. So again, this is something that I'm going to be talking about in the approaching system. If you want to get notified about that, if you actually want to help me create it because I'm in the process of creating it right now, I'm actually going to be filming some infield footage this weekend, um, then yeah, I would sign up for the mailing list. There's going to be a link for it in the description box below. We want to get as many people as we can because we want to make it the best product that we possibly can, you guys. And, uh, when I launch it, I want this to be exactly what you guys are looking for. So, um, yeah, check that box there. Good luck out there, you guys. Thanks for watching.